Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we're going to talk about possibilities, how to couple two things, how to transfer information from one system to the other. So we want to make this, before we specifically talk about different signals, we have to know how we might transfer them from one side to the other. All right. So the easiest way to couple two things is simply by two wires, okay? Galvanic coupling. How does this look like? Well, here is one communication partner, here is the other communication partner. I'm using one wire. Usually we need a second wire uh, to close the loop. Done. All right. This thing is called galvanic. Galvanic coupling. Yeah. It is alright, yeah. works every time. However, if we have a noise or if we have a distribution, a, 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 an error, something like this, or maybe here the flash is hitting this communication partner. Then I get this flash energy, this flash voltage, I get directly transferred to my system here. And so it's not just where the, the stroke hits the element, it will destroy everything. Yeah. So usually to keep out uh, noise, to keep out disturbance, to keep out dangerous voltages and so on, you do not want to be galvanically coupled. Okay, so what other possibilities are there? What other possibilities are there? Well, one possibility is if I am using a transformer. There is no, there is no connection between those two. Yeah? So here I have a transformer. Yeah? I'm doing a magnetic coupling here. Yeah? However, we know that transformers, yeah, we need to have here some changing signals. Yeah? Here we can also transfer direct signals, direct DC signals. Yeah? And here we have to use alternating current. Yeah? This is called inductive coupling. Inductive coupling, right? But we are isolated to each other. Huh? We have here insulation because we are only transferred by magnetic field. However, I need here changing magnetic fields to make this transfer possible. So I need here alternating current. Okay, inductive coupling, one possibility. Very close related to inductive coupling. The following. I'm using capacitor. Right. Usually. This line is still coupled. There might also be a capacitor inside. Yeah. Then we are totally decoupled. Uh, yeah. But also here we know for direct currents a capacitor is indeed a wire break. And it's a wire break. There's no wire in between. It's a capacitor. Okay. So we owe also let only alternating current pass because if we constantly loading and unloading this capacitor we will see it on the other side as well if we just load it once then it's done yeah? capacitive coupling capacitive coupling right here via the galvanically Isolated, insulated, yeah? here via magnetic field, here 
via electric field, mm. but isolated. Another possibility to isolate two things is simply by using here Here, back, we will drive an LED. All right, so we have an LED. Zack, zack. Here we have a photoresistor. And in between, we have light. Uh, here we have light. A light coupling, optical coupling it's called. Uh, optical. Optical coupling. Whether this is just an optocoupler which can be bought in this size, you know, very small things where it's just for isolation purposes, or if this is a longer, longer way for optical fiber. Uh, optical data fiber, it works that way. Yeah? This is just light, there is no coupling inside. Now I said just light, it's pretty much an electromagnetic wave. Okay? Light is an electromagnetic wave which is holding the information there. And it's getting lighter and darker and so on, and pulses, light pulses and so on, and we can transfer information. Yeah? Very similar to this optical approach is the last approach I want to mention. We have again here two communication partners. And this here is really used if we are if we're transferring information very far. So here we have the information and then we have here an antenna. We have here an antenna get the information and here we're transferring this information not via light but via radio yeah. high frequency radio yeah. this is done if we have really long distances to keep yeah. uh, so radio coupling or HF radio coupling I feel like frequency radio coupling, also a possibility. Yeah. So these are the methods on how we can transfer information from one to the other side. And often, like I said, often we want to have them insulated, isolated to each other, so we have to use some galvanic separating things, those four, those, those, four, those, four, <laughs> those four uh, down here, uh, we have to use them. Yeah. We will next time we are going to talk about finally about analog signals. Uh, then we will decide if a specific analog signal is easy to, to be decoupled galvanically or not that easy. Uh, we'll see then. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.